good kitten internet. Um, as you can tell from the date stamp in the top right hand corner, today is the 18th of October. It is Sunday. And Maya's here. Not actually sure where Asun's at right now. So we'll have to just deal with Maya Cam. Also, should center this a little bit more. There we go. All right. Oh, there's Asun. Do you want to come up here? I think you might have seen. Yeah, you can barely see Asun. You want to come up? Meow. Meow. Wish you can hear his meows more easily. <sighs> All right. So there's a few things that I need to correct because apparently I... Oh, yes. You are a very handsome and pretty kitty. Um, there's a few things that I need to correct. Nope. Apparently he just wants my lap. That's fine. Um... Because I messed up. Not anything major, just forgetting about things. Or thing, actually. So, a couple of episodes ago now, which got released this past week, I had a couple of treasure chests that I said that I couldn't reach. I totally could. I just completely forgot about the existence of Puka. Because uh, Puka's a very not memorable thing in my mind. I, I think it might just be oh, cute. I think it might just be disappointment over the fact that Hanpan got replaced by Puka, but that's right, I do have to leave. So I'm going to leave first. And we're going to correct these two things and collect those two objects. One of which I think might actually still be useful. So, um something else I wanted to talk about. Um this region. So I had um, a commenter, a friend of mine, in the comments had mentioned that he would have pronounced it Celia region. Which made me think. So first off, that could actually be intentional and a reference to um, Celia from Wild Arms, since this is her hometown, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Um, Kieran Abbey is where she started at and also where... She lived for the first, uh, for the previous decade of her life, so it's kind of her home. Um, so I started thinking about it, and I started wondering how in the world were you, oh, other side, uh, how in the world were you supposed to actually pronounce it? So it got me thinking. Okay, first off, how is it pronounced in Japanese? This is the thing I forgot I can do. Eagle Quill acquired, which is headgear for Tim. Yep. Um, the next. Oh, I just realized that Ashley's actually still. Did I actually go back and do that? Anyway, um. What was I saying? So, we looked up how it's said in Japanese. Um, I actually have the. I just buried it and I have a cat on my lap now. Um, so I'll grab it later when Isun decides he doesn't want to be on my lap anymore. Um, I have the Wild Arms fan book. I showed it off for Wild Arms 1. It includes everything from Wild Arms 1 through 5. Does not include XF, unfortunately. But it doesn't actually cover characters' hometowns, strangely enough. <clears throat> so I can't tell you what it was in Japanese. Or can I? So, Wild Arms 2 is much more popular in Japan than it was in the US. Probably because it was unfortunately timed on release in the US. It came out at roughly the same time as Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I'm getting a little bit of echo. Let me drop my volume a little bit. Um... So I figured I can probably find a Let's Play of Wild Arms 1 in Japanese, which I did. <coughs> and it had it in Romanji, which means that it was a transliteration from some other language into Japanese, then back into English again. However, the English spelling that they gave is actually a pretty accurate descriptor of what it would have translated as. So I'm kind of back to square one. 
So what I'm wondering, and this is a question for anybody out there, is this a reference to something that I'm missing? Because it's entirely possible that it is the reference to Wild Arms 1 that I'm thinking it is, or thinking it might be. There we go, I've finished Graviton. I think that's the last one I had. Um, and if it is that, sweet. Solved mystery. If it isn't, then how do I pronounce it? Because it almost looks Swedish to me, but not quite. Had a joke going around right now. Um, so in my role-playing campaign that I'm running on the weekends at the moment, um, the party is encountering a species called the Yeel. The Yeel or Roswell Greys. But their language that they speak, it sounds elven-ish, but only it sounds like it's elven to somebody who doesn't know anything about elven. So I made the joke that it sounds like elven Swedish chef. Which has now made it elven chef. And that's kind of the way I'm getting the impression of the seal region, is it's Swedish chef language, not actual Swedish. Yep, we have finished all of Tim's force ability, or Tim's spells for the time being. We need more guardians. Now I'm running through the gate bridge again, which this should not take very long, given that there's no random encounters here, I think. I'm just gonna line myself up this way. I need to get to the other side of the el the bridge, so. Oh, darn it. I was hoping that the, these would be disabled at this point. It means I actually have to pay attention to a couple of these rooms, that's a shame. I mean, there's no enemies left, so. I'm gonna have to press that button. Isometric viewpoint, go! Oof. The textures are not very kind when they're scaled up like this. It's like, I can see a whole bunch of artifacting on the textures that I probably couldn't see if I was running this in a CRT. So, yeah. This is the other one. Oh no, Puka actually can't cross the fence. Okay. That really is something I have to do later. Good to know. But there's other things that I need to do over here anyway, because there's actually an item nearby the entrance to Green Hell, which is over here. Monk yours? Is it? Fenley gone. There we go. Oh yeah, who's actually going to go first when I do this? I should pay attention to that. You have 142, 127, 122. Okay, so Tim can attack afterward. Always take more lucky cards, thank you. Now go away and die. I'm not grinding for them at this point, I'm just going to take them because they're free. Anyway, that's actually what I'm trying to do. for ah didn't even see what it was i'm pretty sure that's it it's a sorcery apple for reference so if you all pause it and see it 
You can confirm it for me. If not, I can always come back. I'll leave after this battle. Take out one. I'm gonna get hit by the other. Oh good, it's just being dumb. Might as well heal Brad because I can. Uh, pickpocket, then uh, ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. Strange that I can rename Lilka's abilities, but I can't rename Tim's. Actually, come to think of it, I think Lilka's abilities might be the only ones I can rename. Can I? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I can. Anyway, we're done here. We're going to Courtly. And we're going to continue on. I only spent 10 or 11 minutes on random stuff that should have been done earlier. That's not too bad for me. All right. Get a real save again. That's stuff that should have happened before and I didn't do. That's my mistake. Yep, you can overwrite that existing spot. I haven't done anything plot-wise, so that's fine. I won't say who, but I'm sure I saw one of your friends with that armed group that was here. And no, I'm not mistaken. I won't say who, because I'm sure there's a traitor in your group. Be careful. I saw what you did. You were in that you were with that shady looking bunch that came to town. You aren't a part of that terrorist group of Dessa, are you? Is he? Oh yeah, we haven't actually gone into these. And as is tradition for RPGs, there are no toilets. That's the Armsmeister, right? I am full. There's no label on that guy's shop whatsoever, is there? Uh, this is personal skills, I'm guessing? Yeah. Ah, uh, well, Luca has a... No, no, that's right, I need four. Because I want to get a parameter. Head of Odessa is that former Liberation Army leader, Vincefield, right? Hope I'm wrong, but maybe the former Slayheim Liberation Army is involved in the terrorist attacks. Could the conspiracy go that deep? Because remember, Courtly was a part of Slayheim, and we're about to enter Slayheim proper now. Welcome to Slayheim. The terrain has been salted. And I have already forgotten where I need to go. I think it's between the pillars. I should probably actually have the guide open at this point for the low level guide, but I don't feel like it. I feel like exploring a bit. bunch of nothing. A Necrosaurus and a Macabre. Turn undead. These are actually easy enough where I probably didn't need to bother with Turn Undead. Oh, not a big deal. But yeah, that's part of the reason why I wanted to make sure Tim got Turn Undead, is that this region is full of undead. Which means Tim is one-shotting everything. Other than, like, bosses. Even then, Turn Undead does work on some bosses. I think it's this area that... 
supposed to be at. No? Hmm. All right, I will actually load that up. Give me a moment. Um, see, I have that open in a tab, don't I? I don't think I closed it, but I've moved around tabs quite a bit since the last time I was doing this. Yeah, there it is. So let's go ahead and move that tab to the other window so I can see it while I'm doing this. There we go. Yep, nope. Doesn't say anything about it. Cool. I'd have to look it up in another guide. Not a big deal. I'm just going to search for a bit. Remnants. Bonk. They didn't even damage him, really. Punch. Maybe I should try stealing from him. This is Turn Undead. It's an instant death attack that always works against undead. If you're fighting undead, there's no reason to not use it unless if you're not using Tim, basically. Pretty sure Slayheim's not over here. But I don't remember what actually is over here, so. Nothing I can reach right now, at least. So I mostly like the searching system, except that I don't like not knowing where I've already searched. leveled. I don't know why they're having so many pro Oh, that's right. Because I have up physical defense, and since I'm low enough level, that's probably a static number, isn't it? Huh. I wonder if I should math that. Maybe I'll do that with Ashley. Like, find out exactly how much that's actually adding. Then again, I don't know if it's relative or not, either. <sighs> These salt nuts. kingdom for a map. Zap. Punch. Normally there's like a shadow of some variety that helps me figure out where these things are at, but I'm not even seeing that. There's a shadow there though. There it is. Welcome to Slayheim. Well, I guess that cannon isn't here yet. Castle hasn't been engulfed in the sea of salt yet. Let's take a look around while we're waiting. Oh, hey, look, another one of those scary monsters. Yeah, this has the same layout as a lot of other castles. Only much creepier. Nachtgeists! Shouldn't that be Nichtgeists?
Zap. Uh, I should have specifically had Tim target a different one. Ooh. They're strong against that element. Turn and dead. You're dead. I'm not. Armor down. Ooh, an air of effect armor down, too. That's fine. They're going to be dead before my turn anyway. Let's see. What I'd really like to do is analyze, so I'm going to do that. Oh, that's Defensor. Darp. Stole Dark. I don't think you're going to live through it. Oh. Nissin has decided to start looking at some burbs. Noctogist. Level 21. 260 hit points. Weak against light. Yeah. Figures. Sorry for being so close to the mic. I wanted to grab Z-Book. I had to dig that up because apparently it was in my boxes. Which it shouldn't have been. Uh, one moment. I've just received a message. And back. I haven't done anything. It was just the message. This looks impassable. Oops. Uh, is there anything I can push? Nope. That's just impassable. Cool. Oh, this was a planning room of some variety. That's not creepy looking. Yeah, straighten the picture. Hey, look, another passage. Hey, you can't collapse now, not after coming this far. No, I know, we can't stop because this is a chance we can't afford to lose. Captain, the royal family seems to be hiding in a cellar. We request permission, sir. We can't blow this chance. If we stop here, we'll suffer an irrecoverable setback. So yeah, we're getting flashbacks from Billy. Duplicator acquired. Yay. That's the only thing. Okay. Yeah, we can't go in there yet. Physics, bonk. Elven boots. That sounds like something I can equip. Ooh, I gained surprise on a one-third probability. Hmm. I don't really care about getting surprise attacks right now. I care about not having been surprised or fighting alone. Specifically fighting. That's the thing that's sucks. I don't want to deal with that. Yes, I want to press the switch. That's an even more obvious switch than last one. A save point. That's not a good sign. We know what those mean. Also, I am really low to the ground today, aren't I? I think my table is a little high. There we go. That's a little better. 
Uh, that's not... I want to loot the rest of the castle first. I'm not going there yet. So there's three items in the castle that I want to pick up, right? Three? Four, actually. Okay. I'm gonna assume that they're weak against everything. Or strong against everything, not weak. The other direction. My umbrella does more damage, even. That's sad. Aqua! Oh, no! That'll work. Big pocket? What do you have in your pockets? You'll bury. Meh. Wasn't worth it. Turn! So yeah, I don't think I've mentioned, I have a sit-stand desk, and so when I'm actually standing up, which is what I do when I'm running games and not on camera, then I prefer having the desk match me. Makes sense, right? So, unfortunately, this desk doesn't have, like, specific positions that you can raise and lower it to, like some do. Ooh, books. Stormy of a superpower. The desert ruins that Slayheim have yielded many relics and are of great scholarly interest worldwide. These relics include several super weapons created with lost technology. These super weapons accelerated Slayheim's transformation into a military superpower. Although never used against another nation, the super weapons were more than an, a more than adequate threat. Newly acquired strength often leads a person astray. The same applies to nations as well. It was the excessive strength of it that acquired that led to the na nation of Slayheim down, eh, down the road to ruin. So that book was written after the mm, Treaty of Escargot. As Slayheim's military might grew, the other nations felt threatened. Distressed of this turn of events, a nobleman in Slayheim, Sir Escargot, proposed the treaty. Known as the Treaty of Escargot, this agreement restricted the use of superweapons. In Sir Escargot's territory, the treaty was ratified and made permanent. By restricting the use of weapons that threatened world peace, this arms reduction treaty sought to curb the arms race and preserve world peace above all else. What began as scattered pockets of resistance eventually grew into a nationwide liberation movement. The movement's momentum took the government forces by surprise. Amazingly, this huge movement was piloted by only two men, the leader and a hero. Together, they led a liberation army whose military might was formidable. The two sides were evenly matched. Only the goddess of victory could have foreseen this outcome, or the outcome. No, the book's right there. Ah, there's another book up there. Box kicking! For goodness! It's an adult magazine! Ah, the adult magazine. It's in every Wild Arms game that I know of. Don't look, kids. I like the version that's in Wild Arms 3 the best. Secret room number five. Secret sign acquired. Yes, those. that secret sign is a sorcery up book, not... Yeah, that's a large amount of sorcery up. Yep, Tim can get that one. You see a book entitled 
Angel Halo. Content warning. You're going to see a lot of scenes of what happened in Slayheim. And there's been enough hints where I don't think this is a major spoiler. If you are affected by the use of nuclear weapons, you may want to be advised about this section. The Angel Halo is an angel weapon unearthed during the desert excavation mentioned above. This was the most powerful type of ancient weapon. Its blast would lay waste to all of Slayheim, turning it into a lifeless salt plat. The King of Slayheim is prepared to use the Angel Halo if cornered militarily. All who live in Slayheim should pray that the Angel Halo is never used. Whether it is depends on how the war with the Liberation Army goes. Have you gotten an idea as to what happened yet to Slayheim? And why we don't see people here? And why the Slayheim Liberation Army basically consists of three people left alive? This wasn't a pretty war. Helter Skelters! Um, yeah, we're going to see more signs as to what actually happened, but this is, I think, supposed to be a subversion of um, the way war is frequently depicted in RPGs. It's frequently depicted as the plucky heroes overcoming a nationalistic or imperialistic threat. And that sort of happened here, but not quite. I'm safe stating in case if I trigger plot. We're low on ammo and most of the squad is wounded. How can you think we still have a chance? We must win, no matter what happens. We're gonna turn things around now. Center area is open. This is the lone wolf. Yep. Even though it's for Ashley, might as well equip it and it's not gonna hurt. Alright. So, yeah, this is where they made their final stand, basically, and I can't go through that, even though that totally looks like a doorway. Saving so we don't have to go through the scenes again. Coincidentally, if I actually had the ability to unlock that monster in the box, I could probably win the fight against it right now. Ow. There's a lot of interesting ways that you can fight the hidden bosses that make things a lot easier than you would expect. I assume it's tripping at something again. Could just lay on a pineapple. Eh, these aren't really hurting me enough for me to care. Punch. Turn! Yeah, because I can just heal Tim immediately after this, which I don't really need to, but I might as well. I don't really need more heal berries, so I'm not too concerned about typing. Brad hit 25. Nice. Alright, 
already went there, Dirk. Got myself turned around. I need to go this way. Now we're back to the main room. Save stating again, because this fight, this fight kind of hurts. Well, not this one. Very strange looking skeletons, if I do say so myself. The way they're twitching. Kind of like they're dancing. Who's afraid of the dancing skeleton, huh? Turn! Ooh, we have five fruit. Alright. Oh, I remember how I need to do this. Bonk. 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 Overly complicated for the win. I uh, just received another message because I'm a very popular person, apparently. Ah, uh, no, just somebody going on Twitch. Okay. I can watch that later. This is no time to celebrate. What is it? That loser fugitive must have lost his mind. King of Snayheim. He activated the triggering device of the on the Angel Halo. Good lord. That's an angel weapon. They were permanently banned under the Treaty of Escargot. There must be a code to deactivate the bomb. The king must know. Beat it out of him if you must. Believe me, I'd like to, but it's too late. The idiot blew his own brains out. Son of a... I'll turn that sucker off. Don't be an idiot. We can't afford to lose you. I don't plan on dying. Besides, you still have something that's mine. So I think he was supposed to just sucker punch him for that. And tell him to take care of Vincefield for me. Billy. That was our last mission together. When the angel halo detonated, never thought I'd see him again. But he made it back alive. And I have to stay alive so that when the war is over, I give him back what I'm holding for him. Plus band acquired. There we go. Just some packages sitting in here, you know, as you do. Still can't read what that's supposed to say other than the first letter is an S. Slayheim? No, it looks like an RA at the end, so I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Your luck is castles ghosts. Both possess a life that's not of this world. I will send you where you belong. You do not belong in this world. It's you! You're that merc! Are you an assassin for Odessa? I don't work for anyone. I only follow my own destiny. Besides, Odessa can never tie me down. I don't have anything personal against you, but I must slay that monster that lurks within you. I do not tell you to surrender. I simply say accept! So, you will notice first off, there is no boss intro. Second off, we have the Odessa theme playing. Canon is not a member of Odessa. In fact, Canon is a wake-up call boss. So I said that term before in Wild Arms 1 when it came to Boomerang. A wake-up call boss is when all of a sudden the difficulty level jumps up a huge amount in one boss battle where you're literally woke up and go, oh, I actually have to pay attention to this battle. Canon fights are the Wild Arms 2 equivalent of Boomerang fights. They are extraordinarily dangerous. 
and it only gets worse. So much worse. If if the designers of Wild Arms 1 had made Boomerang like canon, I'm not so sure the game would be possible. And these fights are going to definitely be the most trying fights that I have in my mind. So, just as a heads up, um, there's a reason why I've been upping the physical defense of Tim and Lilka this entire time. It's this fight. I will cut down anyone who tries to stop me. I have sworn an oath to myself. Cannon is ludicrously overpowered. All right. That's right, I can lock on on first turn now. Nice. Unfortunately, Tim really only has offensive spells. Actually, hold on. Yeah, no, I was right. Let's shield Tim. I wish I could see how much attack they had. So I don't know if AM Cluster is actually stronger. You know what? Let's just use AM Cluster. Pike Kick! Bonk! 784 damage on a Pike Kick. For reference, Pike Kick should be doing about 1100 if it weren't for the FP defend. Which means that Cannon's capable of a single normal attack that does over 50% of somebody's maximum hit points. I'm FP shifting, so Lilka has more force points. We need to get Lilka up on force points fast. Because she is going to be our healer for this fight, and Lilka needs 55 force points to use high heal. And regular heal is not going to cut it. Let's compare with Bazooka. What is it? What's wrong, Isin? Huh, Tim's down to 60 hit points already. Do you see what I mean? It's ridiculous. Uh, I may need to pause for a moment because Isin's acting a little weird. Alright. Heal Tim. Brad, Punch, Tim, First Aid. Those two combined... Sh uh, first Aid should be enough to bring Tim back up enough to take a hit. And Cannon's only attacking Tim. I am so glad I shielded Tim. Oh, and regular attack does zero. Neat. Alright, Tim should be back up to full. I'm going to actually attack with Luka so her Force Points go up. We haven't seen the higher level ones for all of these yet. Time to learn. Napalm hit. No, that's the one we actually have seen. Plasma tap. Left edge. That's nearly 900 on Brad. What is it, Kinney? Plasma tap. Bzap. Nice, cool 1,000 damage. Out of curiosity. Sorcery 294. How does that add up to a thousand? Hmm. Cannon must have a decent amount of magic resistance. I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna make sure Isun's okay. One moment. I'm back. I think he's just in a crazy cat hour mode, except this is a really weird time of day for him to be in crazy cat hour mode. Anyway. More beating on Cannon. Uh, she's probably mostly dead at this point. Um... Might as well high heal because I have it. I was not paying attention to how much damage Bazooka did versus AM Cluster. I think it's the same. 
Um, let's see. We have not seen Submerge or Tempest. Let's go with Submerge. Or Graviton. Let's look at Graviton. Might as well. Luckily, Cannon's AI is being dumb, because that is by far the worst thing that she can do. Okay. Luka hit 25. Damn, I was careless. But this ain't over yet. I know she says isn't, but whatever. I will fulfill my oath to myself. Tannin part one. My oath to kill all monsters. I will hunt you down, no matter where you run to. Till then, stay healthy. Don't rob me of my pleasure. By the way, Finziel said he knew the hero, the hero he knew five years ago was left-handed. Watch your back from now on. You're my prey. I won't let anyone else take you. And Dissun is just crying for absolutely no reason. All right, now we go back to Courtly. Even though we weren't told to at all. <sighs> this is where the plot of the game starts getting a little wonky. I wonder if it's a translation issue. It's me. Come in, Valeria Chateau. Do you read me? And that's that. Since you're near Courtly, I want you to check out something there. Despite the signal jamming, we've detected an unusual energy waveform from the desert. It could be an Odessa facility, or maybe even a main base. Do you have an exact location? From here, it's a miracle we even picked, on this, picked up on the signal. The only way to pinpoint the location is for you to comb the desert. Combing the desert, sir. We ain't found, anyway. Okay, Ashley is still confused, or er, forgetful. Good. Because this is a long sequence, and I'm actually thinking about saving and exiting at this point. And just ending this video early. Well, let's go ahead and reload first, but I think I am going to do that, just because, um... Yeah. All right, is there anything else that I should do in advance that they suggest? No, not really. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this here. Let me just save. And next time we're going to go off to that strange signal. By the way, um, are these accents actually helping? I'm trying to use consistent accents and I think I'm actually being somewhat successful now, now that I'm used to it. Um, and I do like giving Tannin a southern accent, because I think it's very appropriate for some very obscure reasons that will become a little more obvious later on, but probably not that obvious to uh, pretty much anybody watching these videos, unless if you happen to know the etymological origins of a southern accent. Anyway, talk to you next time, internet. Bye!